Little brothers, I will break meal stone and lemon. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sit down, listen. Lord, we're gonna just listen, be edifying. Uh, before we get started, like give all praise, Lord, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, by Hashem, Like give double honors to our elders and apostles that break meal stone. Also, want to say peace, safety, uh, much love and blessing to the oxen across the four corners of the earth. But the pushing out the truth and truth and sincerity. <clears throat> and uh, putting the lives on the line to do so. Uh, Shalom to you, brothers. And uh, as you all can see from the title, uh, we're going to go into how uh, iron sharpens iron. Okay, and the importance of being around brothers that way you can trade those uh, spiritual uh, gifts or talents that you have. You know, uh, because, you know, all, man, all, all that's taking place around us, you know, is evil and wickedness outside the body of the Holocaust and outside. So it's important to get away, take a step away from the world, you know, in your everyday activities and get around with brothers, you know, and, and play those different talents. And uh, we're at the doorsteps of, of, of men that have uh, things in the spirit that you would like to gain and add to your uh, repertoire, all right? <laughs> adding those fruits to the spirit that the brothers can grab and uh, adding on temperance and protection, so on and so forth, for the brothers can hold their own death. And whatever y'all brothers got, uh, you can bring it. Okay. Go ahead, brother. <clears throat> this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse, verse 4. It reads, Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Mm -hmm. And there are differences of the ministrations, but the same Lord. Yeah, the same, it says the same spirit. Yeah, we all are one spirit. I mean, how about seeing our time? Uh, we move as a unit according to the scripture. All right? But we all, each individual, we have our own personality. We have our own offices and duties to the whole. All right? We have our own lives. All right? So that's why we're saying that it's important to step away from those things outside of the truth and get together with brothers that are like minded. That way we can trade those different talents and. and, and Good habits rub off on mm -hmm. each each uh, each other instead of you know bad bad and negative habits. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse six. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. Yeah, I guess we're all going to We all got different lots. We all we all got different uh, rankings, if you will. We all got different responsibilities within the body. All right, but we all. All of them that one umbrella with you, so how about you like that? Mm -hmm. Verse 7 But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Mm -hmm. For to one is given by the Spirit of the word of wisdom, yeah. to another the word of knowledge uh -huh. by the same Spirit. Yeah, and those wisdom and knowledge, brothers that are, are brothers, you know, that are, that, are, that are in your temple, that have a high level of wisdom, uh, you got brothers that have level of knowledge. Right? If you're lacking the wisdom, get around the brother that's very wise. You know, that make wise decisions, that have a high level of discernment. Mm -hmm. You know, with the knowledge is like you get around the knowledge of the brother. A brother that knows, you know, the scriptures like the back of his hand. Mm -hmm. Brothers that mm -hmm. exemplify the scriptures. Not only just knowing them, you know, mm -hmm. they show, yeah. you know, and, and their works prove it. You know, if you're lacking in any department, because we know because we're going to get into the list of the fruits of the spirit. If you're lacking in any of those, go trade some off, man. You know, mm -hmm. and, and, and such thing as, as uh, literal fruit, you know, if your neighbor, you know, got peaches and you got oranges, you want some peaches, he want oranges, you get around each other and you trade those things off. Mm -hmm. All right, that way both parties have a sufficient amount of what they need, you know, and it's the same way in the spirit with these talents. No, go ahead, go ahead. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. To another faith by the same spirit, to another the gifts of healing by mm -hmm. the same spirit. Right, and faith is a big component, man. All right. And we all know that the Lord only requires us to have uh, faith the size of a mustard seed. You know, if you're lacking in that department, get around the brother that has a, a high level of faith. Mm -hmm. right. And you got to talk to you, he leaves with the spiritual gifts that you have. If you're big on patience and temperance, all right, your brother be around you and see you in, in, in situations where mm -hmm. most would probably, you know, be, be 
hasty, mm -hmm. but you was being patient, that'll rub off on that brother. Yeah, right? yeah. But the only way that can rub off on you is you gotta be around him. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. You can't know, well, you can know that the brother, okay, that brother is very patient or that brother is very knowledgeable. You know, you can't access that without getting around him and showing him at all, you know. Uh, anybody want to speak on Oh, I was going to say, I also um, always learn to, to ask how we're going to hang out with y'all. You know, asking yourself to give them. You know, to do the things um, you have to do to obtain, you know, something, you know, give from the spirit. You know, to build you up. Because, you know, we all here, not to be dependent, not to, you know, decrease. We are here to increase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell first quick in chapter 12, verse verse 10. It says, but okay. read to another the working of miracles, to another to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, yeah. to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. Yeah. So like the like brother going into, you will have the, the herbalists of the camp, the physicians, yeah. all right, those are the great uh, exhorters, you know, encouragers, leaders, all right, advisors through the, through the wisdom of the council. Alright, it, it, it's gonna be all over the place. That's how that's how a team works in sports and the job force. It's all different components. It's the same, and but it's more heavy through the spirit. Cause this is what actually leads to what your 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 salvation. Yeah. And then yeah, this, this actually has to do with saving your life. <clears throat> so yeah, it's that much more important that we that we you know get these things to the best of our ability, you know, from each other of course. Yeah. Right? Cause the scripture speaks about that we can that we are to not forsake the assembling of ourselves as we see the day of approaching. Right. Alright, that day of what? The day of judgment. Alright, the day of the, the day of uh how we shot coming back the prophecy being fulfilled. Um, you know? Yeah, because hey, the wicked they, they get together, you know, and, and, and yeah, trade exactly. all that how to how to how to how to scam how to be able to become a better scammer. Yeah. How to get a better mate yeah. a bigger lift, yeah. you know, how to how to make how to stretch the dope. You know, yeah. so next time you read up, you got a little more. You know, people yeah. do that. They get around each other, and because the scripture tells us that they are wise to do evil, yeah. but to do good, they have no idea. Mm -hmm. All right, and go through pathways, but we have an idea on how to do good. Yeah. All right, and we get around each other, that way we can be better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sirach, or Ecclesiastes chapter 6, and verse uh, 36. It says, uh, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times unto him, and let thy foot wear the depth, it's like wear the steps of the door. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you see a man of understanding, you know, and you, you know, desire, you know, uh, you know, to have the, the understanding that he has, then you got to get around him. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and it's not envy. You know, you can't be scripture speaking around him. You can't envy. You know another man's ta uh, talent or you know, his uh, spiritual gifts that the Lord blessed him with. You know, if you want, if you desire those things and get around them, and the brother is willing, you know, it, it, it's almost like it's just naturally go, uh, uh, rub off on you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and we all can attest to that because we stick to the scripture and we do these things and we clearly see how it works, man. You know. Uh, if I can answer your point, a cheat code, of course, through the spirit, you, we got we got an easy access by watching watching each other videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because the talent the talent is gonna be shown through the video. It's gonna exemplify itself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna show it, and we we have an easy access. Let me go ahead and watch this, man. Yeah. You know, and it, it get it get trade it can get traded like this. Yeah. Also, you you even know, you know, you got certain brothers in video you, you may watch more, you know, than the others. Mm -hmm. You know, because you you desire that gift he has mm -hmm. and the way he's able to swing his sword and bring out precepts, mm -hmm. going to, you know, certain prophecies and break mm -hmm. lines and so on and so forth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's all you know, it's all, you know, a gift that's given to each and every one of us pursuing, you know, with faith, you know, especially pursuing to Ephesians the second chapter. You know, you know, uh, you know uh, we gotta do go ahead, Mr. So this is um Romans chapter twelve. Start around verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I'm bringing that out because, of course, if we're one body, I mean, how about the Shemi of Shah, but we have many members. Just like that physical body, um, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the right hand could benefit from the left hand. You know, 
the left hand will benefit from the right hand. And vice versa, even the brain. Right? The left side will benefit from the right, and the right from the left. So us being the body and as being the members, we can benefit from um, one another. You know what I'm saying? You probably came from you know, different paths, different walks in life. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we have our eyes single. So it's how about you know shot and we can actually benefit from one another on how to cross that finish line. You know, basically. Continuing on, it says so we being many are one body in Hamashia and every one member of one another. Mm-hmm. Having then gifts deferring according to the grace that is given unto us, uh whether prophesy. Let us prophesy according to the proportion, proportion excuse me, of faith or ministry. Let us wait on our ministry or he that teacheth on teaching. Of course, it's going into even more diverse of the, of the uh, spirit, man. Because the gifts of the, of the Holy Spirit that Yahweh Baha Shina has given has given everybody. All right, starting with the apostles and others, a red mental all the way on down, man. Okay? And it says, um, or he that is ordered on exhortation as the brother born into, you know, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with di- uh, diligence, excuse me, he that shows mercy with gentleness. You know, there's different aspects of the Holy Spirit, man, different gifts, okay? Iron sharpness, iron. You know, if the brother lack faith, give with a brother with faith. If the brother lack knowledge, give with a brother with knowledge. It's the all benefit to actually growing this thing. Yeah, it's yeah. something that the world don't like, don't even um have. Excuse me, yeah, everybody's just saying, well, you know, that's what you're doing, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta uh, constantly, you know, be around, you know, like-minded men, you know, in order to grow. You know, because if you mm-hmm. if you just live in one area, you know, when, you, when certain situations arise, you, know, you have to you know, exercise the level of patience. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to exercise the level of uh, you know, uh, of diligence. Yeah. You know, uh, whatever the case may be, you won't, you won't, you won't be comfortable. You know, and that's why it's important to build on top of. I know the brother in the rock car from the Anybody feel it? I got you. Yeah, you got to yeah. uh, This is Second Peter chapter one and verse. Uh, I'll start at. I'll start at five. It says, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience. Time. Uh, for Second Peter chapter one and four, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption of, that is in the world through lust. Yeah, and that's the point I want to make. Having escaped the corruption of the world through lust. Because that's all the world teaches, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything outside the truth, bro, is corrupted <coughs> and, uh, and it's filthy. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why you got to get around those that are like minded to <coughs> the truth. Uh-huh. All right. Well, because we've escaped and we've become. Oh, we are supposed to have to become new creatures. Alright, therefore, all the things that were of the world should not really uh, 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 intrigue us, really. Mm-hmm. You know, it really shouldn't be nothing that we should feel like we're missing out on in the world. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. Uh, because it's all corrupt, uh, uh, corruptible. You know, mm-hmm. and temple, you know. Go ahead. Verse 5. And beside this, given all diligence. Add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, mm-hmm. and to knowledge temperance. Yeah, and knowledge is a add. Alright, these are things that uh, you may not have, but you need to add, you mm-hmm. know, because we all were blessed with different gifts as we read all this. Mm-hmm. Alright, so just because you're lacking in one area, don't mean you should become complacent. But it's all the Lord and gave me, so you know, you know, you know, yeah, I'm just, 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 I'm just,
talking to a brother, yeah. it'll spark a lesson. Yeah. It'll spark a yeah. mindset. Yeah. Like, yeah. I really can apply that to my life. Or well, I can apply that to my walk. Yeah. And it makes it easy. Um, because you don't mm -hmm. have to... We got brothers around us that are season. You don't really have to go through certain trials and tribulations that the brothers have gone through. Because you're yeah. looking at them as an example. And you're taking their work for it. Yeah. Like, but I did it that way. You know, I don't yeah. think you should... But you can't get that amount of advice mm -hmm. if you're not around the brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead, bro. I was going to say, too, you know, with our, our names, you know, not our Babylonian slave names, that don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. Talking about a Hebrew name, like, this brother's name is a rock. So if you need some type of patience, you might need to hang around this brother. Mm -hmm. You want to be diligent, right. you know, <laughs> yeah. you got to rock these off. Yeah. We got Shemak, we're looking toward gladness. Mm -hmm. So down and out, like, get around the brother, you know, that's, you know, a joyful in the spirit, man. So different brothers' names going to different meetings, and you know they can help you acquire some uh, traits and characteristics that you might need. Yeah. Meet me. Going to this brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One of the most humble brothers I know. Yeah, yeah. Man, uh, you need to look at that too. Get around the brother. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, actually, and I would say uh, just to add to brother's point, just observe, observe the brothers, man. Observe and actually acknowledge the the talent, and the gift, and, and and try to, like you said, like you just, like you said, mindset, motivate, motivate yourself. Like, damn, you like, I gotta be more patient. Like, I gotta do, I just gotta, you know, I just gotta. It's not even like brother said, you gotta, you, you gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta grow, we gotta abound. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. It's gonna really help you, especially in the day that we're coming into. Right. Imagine going in the day and all hell for you. You just got one thing. You gotta build yourself in other things too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, as a body, if I can say too, we're only as strong as our weakest link. Yes. Right. <coughs> so that's why it's important. Real quick, uh, Sirach 21 and 15. It says, If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding hears it, it displeases him and he casts it behind his back. So that's how, that's, you know, really how important it is to really hear the words that, you know, brothers uh, are speaking, especially when you recognize that the spirit of God by the same God is God's presence, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you take heed into, work, into words, into, into counsel. Yeah. You know, the scripture speaks about being able to uh, uh, take counsel, man. Mm -hmm. You know, take advice, to take uh, rebuke and mm -hmm. proof from brothers. You know, all of that goes into iron, iron sharpening iron, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, but it says, um, if a fool hears it, you know, or one with no understanding here, he casts it behind his back like his nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, because it wasn't important. So only the things that he wanted, you know, you want to say. Right. You know, you always want somebody to hear your words, but when it's time for you to listen, you know, everything goes in one ear and not the other. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not how the spirit works, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 the Lord said, a uh, camp set up brothers for us to help in, uh, each individual out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why it's 144,000, man. Mm -hmm. Not just one. Mm -hmm. Right? Can a brother grab the rock? Uh, 37 and 10. Oh, I'm already here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is, uh, so what? Chapter 37, verse 12. It reads, but be continually with a godly man. Mm -hmm. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, mm. whose mind is according to thy mind, mm. and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt be scared. Right. You ain't gonna get nothing out of hanging with a nigga that ain't really got no, nothing to offer in the spirit. Mm. And I ain't saying niggas as far as brothers and truth. I'm talking about niggas outside the truth. Mm. Right. If you hanging with some, some hood niggas trying to get some temper, and all these niggas mm. wild mm. stuff, that ain't made sense. It's, that's why that's a good scripture. You gotta be around those that are mine and the poor mind. Those that are godly that are known to keep the name and say how about you not that. But all the niggas gonna teach you to do is to be a nigga. Uh, you know. Uh that was good in that? Uh I don't even go thirteen. Yeah. Verse thirteen it says, And let the counsel of thine own heart stand, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. But yeah, that, that was the point. Yeah, that was the point. Get around black-minded men, men that are godly, that are known to keep the commandments. All right, 
and that's how your iron gonna soften his, and his iron gonna soften yours. Right. So it's, like, it's like they say in the world, uh, show me four to five of your friends, and I'll show you who you wanna be. Yeah. So if you have four or five people that's pulling tick dogs and matching blunts, yeah. it, it likely you're gonna do that. If you get around to that understanding, yeah. as you're going into the blessing, you're gonna add, like the uh, scripture in uh, Second Peter said, you're gonna add to the different uh, spiritual virtues that you're gonna need. Yeah. Especially these days, these people are bugging the hell out. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, they, <coughs> that's why it's good to say, the knowledge will be divinity. Now, in the time, and we, and we start, like the officer just said, we really starting to see how important having the vision and knowledge and understanding of the shit is. Right. You know, because in any situation that we are, that we in, man, we can revert back to the scripture. The yeah. majority of people can't do that. That's why they're bugging out. Hey, and when you, as you were speaking that, I'm thinking about the soul in the Exactly. Niggas handle that the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, you know? I mean, the lesson you did on the other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people handle that the wrong way, man. You know, but that's that's not having that wisdom not to understand. Like, oh, this is fearful. The prophecy is about to come back. The house is about to come back. That's what, this is a sign of that. But they, but they, they, them, they thinking this, this is all, this is just a, a miraculous scene. Yeah, we're, watching, we're watching yeah. a movie. That's just fireworks on Fourth of July. That's exactly how they treat it. But that's yeah. what the brother mentioned, man. You know, that's how that's how you want to be if you continue to be around those types of people. Right. Yeah, so you want me to finish that, Peter? Uh, back in Second Peter chapter uh, one and verse five, it says, "And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience." And to patience, godliness, and, go and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. Mm. That's another thing. You come around, brother. Man, don't come in a nigga spirit. Yeah. Bro, you, know, you being around, brother. You know, we all know brothers coming out of the world. Fresh out of the world. You don't have certain things about you that ain't quite cultivated yet to the spirit. Mm -hmm. You just being an outright nigga. You like the brother's house and not flushing the car. Yeah. Pissing on the seat. Yeah. You know. Coming empty handed, you ain't. You know. Uh, that is absolute brother. You know, like, right. mm -hmm. That's shit of the world, man. Yeah. And that's how you know you ain't got the old spirit to talk to you. You still coming like that. Yeah. All right. And that uh, should show you that you need to be around even more. Because yeah. you got a lot more work to do, man. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. if you can't figure it out, yeah. If you think like you should let the toilet seat down, you know, now you, you got a lot more to worry about, bro. Yeah. You got a lot more to add to your spirit. Exactly. And that's a lot of adding to you. And that's the, the importance of even coming around. Yeah. You know? Because how can a brother see certain things that's, that's on you and certain spirits on you if you always just going right to the crib? Or, you know, you just want, you go to camp. You know, that's the only time you may see brothers. You know, once a week, right? You know, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, excluding you know the lessons, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. Right. But we still have we gotta come around, you know. And that that's a sign that hey, <clears throat> man, 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 are you hiding something? Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't want to get around the brothers, insecurities, insecurities. You know, are you shedding the old man? Or are you just you know putting on the front? Right. You know, the Lord is looking at all this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you got some. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that was it. Uh, uh, I'll read verse eight too. Man. It says, "For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful." It said, "Slightly." It said, "And abound." You know, like, you know so you you got it. It's like the scripture say, man. Hey, this is continuing the process. This, this truth is never ending. It's not it's, it's nonstop. You know, whether you're doing a lesson, whether you're at work, whether you're with your family, whether you're at a camp, whether you're going to the grocery store, whether you're cat, wherever you're at, man, the truth should be uh, instilled within us, within you, man. Yeah. You know, within us all. So we have to uh, make these characteristics that we just mentioned abound and grow within us, man, to, to where we're fully grown. To be uh, uh, able to make it on the chairs of the house, I should be on the chair, man. Right. You know? Yeah. It says, um, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you 
that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Hey, that's a good point. It says that these things be in you. So mm -hmm. we may have some of these traits that are in us, but it might be a very little. You know, right. But in order for it to abound and increase, you got to be around. Mm -hmm. You know? So it says these things be in you, you know, in order for them to, to abound, uh, you got to be willing to add these different fruits of the spirit into one of them. You know, you finish that out too far. Um, I'll read verse nine and um, uh, it, it, it says, mm -hmm. but. He that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, yeah, and hath forgot. Mm -hmm. So like that goes back to what the brother was saying. If you lack these things, you're blind. Uh, you don't you don't really know if you have to hang around to know how you get to be operating or or knowing if you lack faith. If you're the only thing that you're measuring up against, exactly. you measuring up against yourself. Yes, that don't even make sense. Mm -hmm. All right? So that should be uh, a measuring stick or, mm -hmm. or, or, or a, a, a quota, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. that you should really want to hit. And that's how you reach your goals and set your goals for yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to practice a little bit more patience to get yeah. around. You know, exactly. at work, when I get there, yeah. that bitch fucking with me, today mm -hmm. I ain't going to let it fuck with me. Yeah. You know, I'm going to practice, you mm -hmm. know, with some, some patience. Yeah. I ain't gonna let uh, 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 I ain't gonna let uh, a car breaking down get to me this time. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna uh, take take the fuck and roll with it. Exactly. You know? That's why you know the truth is more than just you know telling people that they're in your life or just you know bringing out the latest you know news that happened in, uh, in the world. Right. You know, because like, what are you working on yourself, man? Yeah. You know, the Lord is looking at. It. How you carrying yourself? You know, the scripture tells us in Sirach the 19th chapter that, you know, roughly paraphrasing, loosely paraphrasing, it's not about what you know, man. You know, but do you have fear of the house of Hashem Yahweh Shah? You know, that's what the Lord is looking at. If you have fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, then you're doing everything that we're mentioning with all your might in order to be on the good side, man. You know? Uh, finishing now, it says, uh, is blind and cannot see afar off, and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. No, mm -hmm. he said he said he's forgotten that he was purged from his old his old sin. Uh -huh. You see, so that that old man is still on you. You know, the scripture tells us in uh, what is that Colossians, you know, to get, get to uh, purge off the old man. You know. <laughs> That's how that's how important it is to, to, to get around brothers, man. Especially seasoned brothers. Yeah. You know? Brothers who who who've been in this thing, you know, a while now. I can speak, you know, for myself. And I'm sure other brothers can testify as well. And when you come around, a lot of your growth comes from just being around brothers, not from what you're doing at home. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That was the lesson you did when you went up uh, in Indianapolis with, with his brother. I think his name is Kaya. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah. you saying that in the lesson. Mm -hmm. In order to grow, you know, you got to be around brothers because the scripture says, both to him that's alone. Exactly. Right? Yeah, I thought it was That was it on that one? No, that was it. I got to put him on um, this book of, the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, starting around verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart. And full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Again, that's all metaphor. And going back to what the brother was saying, to letting go of that old man, the old conversation, the old version of you that you were once was. Okay, you call yourself a believer in Yahweh and Hashem Yahweh Shah. Like we said earlier, just grow. All right, get sharpened up. Get around brothers, or just try your best just to get around. I'm saying the Lord, look, he looks at all that, man. Okay? Because you don't learn something. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's inevitable. Like, you know, I've never been around brothers and have a family. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, it's good, bro. Mm -hmm. You don't learn just from being around. You know, mm -hmm. you know, that's a lot of, like, my first two, three years. 
it was just soaking up games, bro. Yeah. Being, mm-hmm. being a strong, being a fly on the wall, you know, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. talking all the fucking time, exactly. you know, listening. Yeah. You know, it takes a, it, 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 it takes work, but you got to be around in order for the eyes to start to Yeah. Uh, and we see, we see it from the from No, but me and this brother Rock, we came here at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know, we see, you know, from the sacrifices that we made, the late nights, mm-hmm. early mornings, Right, yeah. You know, the, uh, you know, all of it, man. We see how the Lord built us up. Right. You know, and, and, we, and, and as we continue to do it, I will like to die. The Lord will continue to build us up, man. Mm-hmm. You know, we yeah. hold while we believe it. Right. You mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this ain't uh, just talking to younger men. Older men can learn something from younger men. Mm-hmm. 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 Younger men can learn something from older men. Yeah. Because it's all about the portion in which you have by seeing outside of you. Right. 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 The whole saying, all iron sharpens iron. Yeah. Yeah. The iron sharpens. Yeah. No, it doesn't stop there. You yeah. know, you got to be able to do it. You know, you need another piece of iron. Yeah, you need another piece of iron to be able to sharpen it. You've got to trade it. It's, a, it's, a, it's an even street. It's a two-way street, if you will. Mm-hmm. You know, you can teach something, and you can learn something. Right. You know, and that's the trading off of those gifts of time. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you your point. That goes into uh, always being moldable and coachable. You know, mm-hmm. being me for the masses. You, mm-hmm. you know, you, the training talent. That, that's you being. That's you exercising mm-hmm. ability. You know, you able, you able to teach something that in the world. We you know in the world everybody can't listen. Nobody mm-hmm. take you. You know, yeah. you know, people just, you, they just, it just pride. It just arrogance. Right. Yeah. But, you know, but within the ministry of how about me outside? And like like brother said, it's training. You know, it's acknowledgement. It's like, damn, it's, it's uh, examination, mm-hmm. you know, uh, consideration. All these things happen on a daily basis. Like we mentioned, being around is the best experience. You t- that, that comes through experience. All right, that's the best teacher at times, man. Right? You experience itself. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you got that. Hold on, sit down. Hold on, sit down. Going back to um, Hebrew chapter 10. Now we have verse 23 that says, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. Mm-hmm. Verse 24, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. That's why it's very, very important to come around. Okay? It says, Let us consi- consider one another. You have that saying out there um, that we use, actually, be your brother's keeper. Mm-hmm. Okay? We consider one another. Not in a no malicious evil way. <laughs> we consider ourselves one another to be stronger in the yeah. faith. And because uh you know just to add to you, you know, when we fellowship, we ain't just no nigga gathering. You know, mm-hmm. you know it's the spirit of the Lord is in you. You know, so certain, you know, uh edification points are coming out, right. certain uh spiritual things that's in the scripture that you may not get at camp. She may not get on the video. All of that is coming out. All right. That's why I said provoke one another. Yep. It's a no. love and to good work. You see, it's a love and to good work. You see, so you don't you don't know how the spirit is gonna be that night. Just show up. You know, it's come. Might get cursed out. Yeah, you know, yeah, you might get anointed. Yeah, spirit might just scope in and you know analyze it, whatever whatever it is that needs to be analyzed. You gotta be willing. You gotta be willing to go through it all, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, not just the good. Yeah. You know, so that's why that's why I said provoke, man. You know, I was thinking when you talk about provoke, I remember when I was saying we used to have a stalker game. You know, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you be getting got on about what you lack, but then you start like, damn. You play the same game, and it's like, like me, for me, the brothers kept saying you can speak with more boldness, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you can speak with more authority and whatnot. And I was like, okay. So, like, over the years, you know, just learning from that game, you know, 
it just it just helped me out. It, it just like you said, just going with certain brothers and doing certain things, certain activities that will you know increase the, the thing that you're lacking in. Trying to continue on. Uh, verse 25, not forsaking the assembly mm-hmm. of ourselves together, yeah. as the manner of some is, for exhortation, exhorting. Uh, mm-hmm. so, uh, like he said, as the manner of some is. Well, even in back then, it was certain men who was forsaking the gathering. Mm-hmm. You know? If not, then Paul, then when the Paul was the, the road, he right. wouldn't agree. You know? So that's why even, was that Romans 15? And they saying the four, hey, we learned from you, man. Yeah. 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 Nah, I was doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the four times. Yeah. No, real. Five learning. So we learned from. Uh, the second day sentence, man. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. You right. got it. Right. Uh, we read in verse 25, it says, Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. So much, the more as we see the day approaching, mm-hmm. we all see the day approaching. Mm-hmm. All right. As the day, you know, is approaching, getting yeah, closer and closer. You know, the, the day of the Hawa Bashmi on Shabbos sooner than what we believe. Yeah. Now we got to continue to measure the power diligently and continue to watch ourselves even faster. Mm-hmm. You know, imagine um, if you had a, a time. I'm just using this as an example. You told the household, "I'm gonna be back at this time." Okay. But then you, you wind up coming back like an hour earlier, the house still dirty. Then you're going to get on it yet, mm-hmm. all right? See, they should have been, you know, preparing themselves and, and getting ready. Then you would have walked in, you're like, okay. You, know, you, you start to command. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, hey, that's that's our, our husband, man. You have a shot, man. Yeah, those people say that uh, our salvation is here when we make the leave. Yep, yep. You know, so you can't, you know, try to wait. You know, there ain't no perfect time to be ready. You know, just do it. Yeah. No, you, I'm, I'm going to wait for about a month, month, month or another year then I'm going to... No. You know, just get right on it. Just get right on it, man. That spirit of procrastination, you know, really is heavy on uh, the Israelites, man. Mm-hmm. So-called black Latino <clears throat> and Native American. You know, and if you're a brother or a sister, you know, that hear and understand that you pray for you feel like you got it. The day is approaching. You know? The, the, the day is approaching. You know? Yeah, I got some. Oh, yeah, uh, This is Psalms 37 and verse uh, 37. It says, Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Right? So, you know, uh, you know, like the brother's been going into, you know, you got to get around bros that are like minded, you know, the perfect man. Cause we're all striving for perfection, all right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, to to be like that, you have to be around men like that. You know, that are striving. You know, that are fighting. All right. If you're around people in the world, you know, you're gonna be worldly. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you know, we're trying to you know mark the perfect man, meaning we're looking at things that bros are doing and, and incorporating it, you know, in our own life. Yeah. You know, because it says, I'll read that last part again. It says, for the end of that man is peace, because ultimately it's salvation. You know. That's what that's what this is all about. All right, mm-hmm. getting being up on a chariot and being saved from you know nuclear destruction. All right. Yeah. This is uh goes right into what the brother is going into the Second Peter chapter three verse ten. It says, "But but the day of the Lord will come at the thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass in with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with the fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved." What manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, and of course that we always we always bring out all right the men, Lord, and the prophets bring out that the Greek word the conversation there on the mm-hmm. trophy, going into the, the conduct and behavior. Mm-hmm. You know, your faith in your faith in your good works. That's why we always say truth and sincerity. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we see that we see that the uh, <laughs> the false prophets out there. Yeah. All right, they they seem to have the spirit, but truly they do not. You know, through discernment, okay, and we we we, throw, we look at them as uh, examples of how not to be, all right. But like we like we going into act iron shopping iron, you know, this is like the like brother been harping on. It's every day, non it's non-stop. The truth is like the brother said, it's never ending. Right. You know, and we and we're trying to be deliver, we're trying to escape those some nuclear missiles destruction. We're trying we're, we're looking to escape the judgment from the hollow shot, 
all right it's gonna it's gonna come through being a better servant better person for your how about you know what I'm it's going to come through different and it's going to come through being better in all different areas because hey, no, you know we're chasing that perfection we're striving yeah. for the mastery you know so we, hey, we're trying to grab what we can we, we grab what we can and can use you know from each from each other all, all right because right. we are all truly many of y'all yeah oh i got three seconds <clears throat> i don't know if the brother brought this out but this is uh james chapter one and verses five if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, then give it to all men liberally, and are greater than not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, but he that wavers is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and toss. So you have to humble yourself and ask the Most High for certain characteristics and qualities. Then you have to have faith and what you're praying. You know, because you can't, what does the scripture say, without faith, it's impossible to please him. And then, <clears throat> when you ask in faith, it can just be a, 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 you know, like a random conversation. Like if you, for instance, like, you're struggling, trying to learn, you, you're trying to convert the paleo, the, the Assyrian to the paleo. A brother might just give you a quick tip out, out of nowhere. You just might, your brothers might be drilling at the camp or whatever. And then... Like you said, we we ain't we ain't no ninja types though. We just you know talking about the jet duty of the monk. All right, you know certain brothers bring out precepts. You know some brothers get into the Hebrew word and it's like okay, damn, I just prayed on that. So you gotta at first identify what your problem is. You know, um, you know the captain, hey, the, the captain Gamal, he did this uh, spiritual evaluation. You gotta do these spiritual evaluations and checks. Like you, you got a car and check engine like come on. You gotta see what's the problem. So you gotta do these spiritual evaluations like, okay, my reading, yeah. <clears throat> how good am I on the hearing? How good am I watching videos? Yeah. How brotherly am I? Yeah. You know, things of that nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on the uh, you got it. and on the uh, uh, you got it Go ahead. Oh Con, this is uh Psalms one thirty three and one. It says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to go together in unity. Mm -hmm. Right, that's, you know, brothers coming together, you know. You got to come around. That's a part of the truth. You know, like, like um, the officer of the as I said earlier, you know, it's 144,000. It's not just one man. You know, this isn't a, a lone wolf thing, you know. You, you got it. Uh, uh, in, the, in the last piece of, uh, so, you know, um, as you can see from the title, you know, Lord will minister the uh, edifying, also the Jordan uh, the message, you know, iron stopping the iron, you know, uh, get around brothers and uh, trade those families while we can, because uh, ain't no telling when the Lord gonna come back. We're on the crack the sky, you know, like the book was saying. So while we have the ability to do so, it's important to trade these families, man. Uh, all right. Um, so with that, we're going to end it, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, and Dash. I'd like to give double honor to our elders and apostles that break the millstone. Peace, safety, and love, and blessings to the Oxygen Apostles, four forms of the earth. Put out the truth, the truth, and sincerity. I want to show you.